Officers are breathing a sigh of relief in Raleigh. A new report shows monthly charges dropped 3% from near record highs. WRL's Ken Smith spoke with a local realtor about what this could mean for our future, Ken. You know, Jeff, there's some good news and bad news here. First, the good news. You just mentioned rental rates dropping by 3% after record highs a couple of years ago. The bad news, and I don't even want to call it bad news. Let's call it the not so good news is rental rates are still extremely high. This Realty.com report indicates the slight decline marks what it calls a sea change from double-digit surges following the COVID pandemic. So let's take a look at it by the numbers. Prices for a two-bedroom rental in the capital city declined 2.9% to $1,558 from May of last year. Nationally, in July, rents peaked at nearly $1,780. Durham was not included in the study, by the way. And again, the report noted rents are still nearly 25% higher than before the pandemic. We saw a 20% year over year increase two years in a row here in the triangle. So although they've dropped slightly, I mean, pennies on the dollar, really. Um, a, a lot of investors in the, the rental market is still really up there, I would say, compared to just a few years ago. Lusk is an investment specialist with the Papalado Real Estate Group. He says it's still a case of supply and demand, not enough inventory compared to the number of people moving to the triangle on a daily basis. In addition, he says the recent high interest rates on purchasing a house is adding to the glut of people needing to rent. So, Jeff, yes, yeah, slight decline, but rents are still very high. <laughs>